And Oops, wait. Seeing... Okay, now. Candace will be read, and we are doing singing from the very first chapter. Mia will be played by Des. Oscar will be played by Quinn. And Kayla and I are narrating. Kachunk, kachunk, kachunk. The sound drifts in my bedroom window. Pokes are my homework case. It's not love. It's impossible to ignore. Because it doesn't belong here. Kachunk, kachunk, kachunk. Kendrick sounds the same every night. Hissing sprinklers, screeching swamp frogs, the drone of the mosquito truck, circling every block. This doesn't fit. It's getting louder now. I roll back my chair and stand up. There's time for a quick expedition outside. Homer can wait for five minutes, or more if this is something interesting. But one of Dad's messages streams into my brain. Academics are the key to success. Makes my knees lock and my feet weigh 100 pounds. I'm not going anywhere. There's homework to do. The messages stay filed away until you're do about to do something interesting. Your brain knows what to feed you. A message rushes into your head. Covers everything else. No desire, no fear, no hunger even. I sit again and open my bio book. Another one flows in. Studying is your top priority. I've got it. I say out loud like my brain is a separate person. You can shut up. Please. No one else ever notices when the messages get into their brain and tell them what to do. But I've been here longer than anyone. I found a way to train my brain. I know when I'm getting the messages fed to me. I know how to fight them when it's worth it. Kachunk, 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 rattle, rattle, rattle. There's a new sound. It's familiar, but what is it? Wouldn't hurt to take me. Ask your girls outside. Everybody's inside where they're supposed to be. Except the girl on the sidewalk. She's bent over. It's Thursday night. Nobody's supposed to be out. It's time for flashcards, extra credit, and college essays if there's time. Nobody would want to be out. The messages make sure of that. Maybe she's new. Maybe she's a potential client. Most of my clients come to Gander with goodies. I make sure they share them with me. Sure, I have a girlfriend, but she's so buttoned up, I only keep her as part of my disguise. I'm the model Gander boy. A son to brag about. That's what everyone thinks. Even my dad. Who doesn't know it's all an act? That I've built my own business. Not many can afford me. Maybe she will. Who are you? No one you should care about. You must be new. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> we moved in from we moved in on Friday from Boston. No, I don't love you. No, I don't want to join the debate team or any other serious club of you. You're a part of, and I can care less what you got on your SAT. So you think you're better than the rest of us? You know the whole shop of others. That's a message. You rich? I got enough. How much time do you have lemonade? I hate lemonade. Well, we have water and coffee, really expensive coffee. Not Thursday. Whatever, I have to go anyway. I've got bio, French, and of course, civics. And that spray paint? How that get to you? You stole it, didn't you? Didn't steal it. I bought it. Liar, nobody sells spray paint in Candor. Fine, I found a cool shop inside. Halfway gone anyway. Let me watch. Why do you want to watch? Does Daddy need a full report? Do you know who my father is? Sure, and I know who you are too. The famous Oscar Banks. Todd, tidy, handsome, debating captain, future savior of the free world. Do you want an autograph? What's your name anyway? Like I said, don't waste your time. Let's go feed something. Not now, not you. Get lost, crazy boy. If you ditch me, I'll tell my dad, and then tell my parents. So what? The messages get to her. Uh, I'm so calm. I want her to let me come. Like you do anything bad. You're not president. No, wait, the king of Russia. Possibly takes the paint. Give it back. No way. I want it to be free. Don't waste it. I need that. It's mine now. <laughs> nice job.